All right, here is the practice for proficiency number four, which is Charles' Law. Um, again, the equation for this, there's two ways to write it. You can either go T1V2 equals T2V1, or T1 over V1 equals T2 over V2. Either way, you'll get the same answers. So we got the first guy right here. Again, this is going to be our V1. This is going to be our T1. This is our V2, and it's asking for your T2. So either way you set it up, you, um, let's use uh, this equation first. T1, V2 equals T2, V1. Your T1 is 23.5, but remember, you need to add 273 to that to turn it to Kelvin. So that'll be 296.5 times our V2, which is 5, equals our T2, which is what we're solving for, times our V1, which is 1.83. And you do the, do the algebra there you'll get a T2 of about 810 Kelvin. All right, let's uh, scooch down and try this one real quick. Um, this time, I'll go ahead and use T1 over V1 equals T2 over V2. Exact same equation. You're going to get the same answer. I just want to show you both, both ways. Again, here is your T1 here is your V1, here is your T2, and it's asking you for your V2. So, T1 is 28, but again, got to add 273 to that, so it'll be 301 divided by your V1, which is 2.23, equals your T2, which is 0, so it's 273, divided by your V2. And you do the algebra there, and your V2 ends up being just over 2 liters.